Asphalt paving and artworks explained. This film includes the following. Asphalt laydown and compaction, field and laboratory testing, asphalt batching, crushed aggregate base course, mixing and laydown, artworks and testing, rock examples and excavatability. Asphalt laydown and compaction operation. A hot prime coat is sprayed on the ground to provide a bond. The asphalt paving process uses paving machines, tipper trucks, compaction rollers, string lines and matching shoes for level. To start the paver is positioned and the screed is extended and lowered onto timber blocks set at the required level. Tipper trucks unload the hot asphalt mix into the paver's hopper. The paver will spread the asphalt. Rollers will compact and finish the asphalt to a smooth and even surface. The asphalt has to be hot to achieve compaction. Generally, an asphalt paver will spread a truckload of 27 tons every 10 minutes. A set of flight feeders which are a type of steel conveyor, carries the asphalt mix from the hopper to the front of the screed. A set of augers spreads the asphalt mix across the front of the screed and the screed then levels and slightly compacts the asphalt. The screed uses string lines or matching shoes for level control. Field testing for level, smoothness, texture and skid resistance. The asphalt mix must be placed and compacted before it cools to 120 degrees Celsius. The density of the asphalt can be tested by taking core samples and by using a nuclear gauge. Laboratory for testing bitumen, asphalt mix, compaction and rutting. Animation showing the sequence and the resources to construct a road. Asphalt batching yard is composed of asphalt storage bays, aggregate feed bins, aggregate drum dryer, bitumen heated storage tanks, batch tower for mixing the hot bitumen and hot aggregates, storage bin for hot mix asphalt, control room, laboratory, offices, weighbridge and diesel tanks. The plant has an asphalt production of 290 tonnes per hour. The mixing is computer controlled and has a dynamic display showing the process. Shown is a sample mix design. The mix temperature depends on the grade of asphalt used in the mix. The temperature is adjusted for weather conditions and hole distance. When the mix is properly mixed, 
all the aggregate particles will be coated with binder. Aggregates of different size ranges are placed in individual cold feed bins. Aggregates are fed onto the conveyor belt under the bins and are transported to the drum dryer. In the rotating drum dryer, the aggregate is heated and dried as it tumbles through the flames. The hot aggregate is transported to the top of the plant mixing tower by a bucket elevator. Upon discharge from the elevator, the hot aggregate passes through a set of vibrating screens into one of the hot storage bins. The hot aggregate is weighed and emptied into the twin shaft pug mill mixer and hot bitumen is added. Before working on live roads, temporary traffic management plans are produced and implemented. Crushed Aggregate Base Course The crushed aggregate base course is produced by the accurate proportioning and blending of four aggregate sizes and water using an aggregate stabilizer mixing plant with a contiguous pug mill mixer. Aggregate base course is a 40mm down, well graded crushed rock mixed with water and is spread using a tracked paver with an automatic screed control. Spread in layers to the required thickness, width, profile, camber and crossfall. For compaction a single drum roller and a pneumatic tired roller is used. The sand cone method is a sand replacement method for determining the field in situ density of the compacted crushed aggregate base course. Muck shifting is a process of moving large quantities of soil and rock during a civil engineering project. Earthworks includes excavation, trenching, haulage, backfilling, filling and compaction. Shown are loading shovels, excavators, rock breakers, dozers, graders, tipper trucks, rollers and a road milling machine at work. Excavations can be classified by the type of material, example topsoil, earth, rock. Also may be classified by the purpose. For example, stripping, roads, foundations, structures, underground, dredging, reclamation and trenching. Fill and backfill material is spread and compacted in layers to ensure proper compaction. Rock breakers are assessed by their output power rating, which is their single blow impact energy multiplied by the frequency that is blows per minute. Plate load test is required to determine the bearing capacity of ground. Nuclear density gauge is used to test the compaction 
by measuring the in-situ density of the field ground. Following are examples of exposed rock showing the layer structure. Cliffs of Moher are formed of layers of siltstone, shale and sandstone. The rock layers vary in thickness from centimetres to metres. Motorway cut through limestone rock near the rock of Cashel shown are the rock layers. Dulin Pear limestone pavement with criss-crossing cracks. The rock layer thickness is 600 mm. Hookhead limestone rock with layer thickness of 150 mm. Skellig Michael, film location for Star Wars, is an uninhabited steep rocky island where the sandstone rock is greatly weathered. The excavatability of rock depends mainly on the rock strength and the layer thickness. This diagram shows excavation methods for rock of various strengths and thicknesses with a free face. For similar educational construction films on airports, seaports, motorways, pipelines, oil and gas plants. See my YouTube channel. The films include the construction sequence, plant equipment and methodologies. The films are used for various purposes, for tender presentations, to show how a project will be constructed, including sequence, methods, plant and timeline. Constructability studies, knowledge capture and sharing, project familiarization, troubleshooting, brainstorming and as an aid for decision making, preparing methods statements and safety risk assessments, programming and getting commitment from the site team, organizing resources by seeing what plant and manpower is required and when, proving delay and disruption entitlements, reviewing and recording progress for workshops and meetings. Thanks for watching.